Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be talking about VirtualBox, which is a way to install any virtual machine operating system without actually installing it on your host machine. So the very first step here is to download VirtualBox. To download VirtualBox, head over to virtualbox.org. Then you're gonna see a few options like Windows, OS X, Linux, or Solaris. So based on which one operating system you are using on your machine, you can choose out of them. So considering I'm on OS X right now, I'm going to choose Mac OS as a host. Once you click on that and you install the virtual box, you're going to see an application like this. So as you can see, I have a virtual machine created already, but let me show you how to create a create one from scratch. So let me just destroy this one. So click on remove and delete all files. So to create a new virtual machine, just click on new. Uh, you can name it anything so I'm just gonna give name learning box and then you choose the folder where you're gonna, you're gonna keep all the files related to this virtual machine the type of operating system considering we are gonna use Ubuntu 64 bit here which comes from Linux family I'm gonna click on Linux now choose Ubuntu 64 bit as a version and click on continue the next step is to select random access memory of your virtual machine here it's recommended to keep it below 50 percent to assure your host machine never crashes so let's say if you have a ram of 4 gb you can keep it 2048 which is 2 gb once that is done click on continue the next step is to select the size of hard disk so let's just create a virtual hard disk now you need to choose the type of hard disk which is recommended to keep default which is vdi now it's asking you whether you want to keep your hard disk files dynamically allocated or fixed you can again keep it default to dynamically allocated now it's going to ask you how much storage you would like to allocate it all depends on your uses but 10 gb of space would be more than enough for now so let's just click on create once that is all done let's go to settings Here you can see all the configuration we did before then go to display in the display make sure you enable 3d acceleration to avoid the display problems you will usually get then click on storage now we're going to choose the iso file for ubuntu 64 bit download a iso file you can move to ubuntu.com and then select 20.04 LTH which is the latest LTS version available once this is downloaded you can click on controller ID and then select the file once the file is selected there is one more option which is shared folders shared folders allows you to share your fo folders from your host machine to your virtual machine so let's say if I want to share a folder just click on others select the folder you would like to share and click open so now we are ready to go just click on start and select normal start now meanwhile our virtual box is getting prepared I'm gonna jump straight to the installation screen once the virtual machine is ready you're gonna see a screen like this which says would you like to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu? So I'm just gonna close this because we're not actually installing here, we're just exploring. So now you're gonna see the screen doesn't look full. So to fix that, just right click, select display settings, and then we can choose the resolution. So I'm gonna make it 1920 to 200. Click on keep changes and now you can simply close that so now you're ready to try when to try your favorite applications you can install applications using Ubuntu software or terminal whatever you prefer so for example I'm just gonna open the terminal here and I'm going to I'm just gonna open the terminal here and I'm going to install git so 
So you're ready to try Ubuntu, explore or install anything would, that would you like. You can see that we have pretty much everything that we would like to do. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. And if you would like to see the next video about Ubuntu installation and configuration, do let us know in the comment section and we would be more than happy to do it for you. Thank you so much.